I would watch people. I could see how on fire they were or are for God and just sitting there like, I want to be like that. But then realizing you can't be like that if you're lukewarm. Like Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by if you're new. So today we're going to be talking about things that I've been doing to deepen my relationship with God. I know a lot of us, we can say, oh, I grew up in church. I went to church all my life. But going to church doesn't mean you have a relationship with God. You actually have to put in the work, time, effort to have a relationship. I know a lot, like especially nowadays, there's a lot of people who have believer, child of God, daughter of the king, all those type of things in their bio, but then you scroll on their page and you don't see anything kingdom related or anything that even reflects the character of Christ. I know for me, I have went through a stage where things in my life have been transpiring that caused me to not necessarily lose my faith in God, but the enemy definitely had me where he wanted me. I was down, I was battered, I was bruised, and I was having myself a pity party. But today I'm going to share with y'all some things that I did to help deepen and strengthen my relationship with God. Not me just saying, oh, I'm a Christian and sprinkling God's name, you know, on my profile or on my channel. Things I actually did that helped to grow my relationship with him. One of the things I started to do, and I mentioned it in one of my last vlogs, is that I started taking social media breaks. And I mentioned in that video that taking social media breaks was so imperative for me because social media had become a major distraction for me. It kept me from reading my Bible, praying, fasting, and these are all the things that you need to be doing to strengthen your relationship and grow your faith. Taking social media breaks definitely helped cut out the distractions, cut out the comparison. It also helped me to stop idolizing other people's relationships or seeing other people's relationships with God thinking that's how my relationship with God should be because nobody's relationship with him is going to be exactly the same. We are supposed to have a personal relationship so it's going to look different from the next person. Another simple step that I did was I also mentioned this in a vlog but this was a while back. I actually started setting an alarm on my phone and I created a focus on my phone specifically for prayer and Bible study time and I had it set for an hour sometimes I would go over an hour sometimes I would struggle to get through that hour and I'm being real candid and real and raw with y'all because it's this is real life like you don't always want to read your Bible you don't always want to pray like your flesh does not naturally want to do those things the discipline in them is what carries you through and carries you over into the next stage to where you're a mature Christian. I set an alarm and set a focus on my phone and you know, it would put your phone on basically do not disturb. So calls and texts, any type of notification will not come through and that helps you to focus. And it really helped me out a lot. Now I initially had it set for noon. No, I had it set for 30 minutes. So starting out, I had it set for 30 minutes from 12 p.m. to 12 30 p.m. but like I said I would go over that now I, I, I'll sit and pray or I'll read my Bible and hours will go by and I won't even notice until it's like time to go get the kids or something like something that I have to do comes up that definitely helped me discipline myself because like I said you're not gonna want to do it your flesh is not gonna want to do it so it helped me to discipline my flesh and knowing that I need to spend this time with God in order for me to grow, in order for the enemy to stop having his way with me. I have to make the conscious decision that I'm going to read my Bible, I'm going to pray, and now I'm at the point where I don't wait that late to do it anymore. I'm actually doing it a whole lot earlier and still spending a lot more time doing it. That discipline helps to build that relationship so that you do desire it. Like, I get to spend time with God, I get to read my Bible, I get to pray. It becomes something that you enjoy but you first have to, to to build that muscle you know so another thing that I would do I've always been the type of person who didn't like a lot of unnecessary noise 
anyway but even more so now i learn to just sit in silence a lot of times i'll drive in silence when i'm in the car by myself even when my kids and my husband are in the car like we'll get in the car and i'll turn off the radio i'll turn off any any type of music nothing is playing we're just driving like i do it a lot by my i started out doing it by myself but now i even do it with them in the car i wake up to silence you know a lot of people wake up like when they're getting ready they have to have some music playing they have to have some type of background noise but i got to the point where i would do things literally in silence and that is because the only way you're going to hear god's voice when well, I, I won't say the only way but the best way to hear his voice especially in the beginning and to know his voice so you can hear different things that he's saying to you or different things that he's putting into your spirit because if you have a tv going you have the music going you have a podcast going you're hearing all these voices and having all this noise going on so you may miss something he's trying to tell you now i'm not saying that you can't listen to a podcast or watch a YouTube video and he won't speak to you through that because that just happened to me this morning. But the fact that a lot of Christians don't know how to sit in silence is baffling. Like you have to learn how to sit in silence. Sit before God, get before him, sit there and just listen for him. During prayer time, talking to him, of course, but also just sitting there in silence, listening so you can hear what he has to say to you sitting in silence doing things in silence and learning how to just be still like literally just be still has helped me a lot so another thing that i have done is i've cleaned up my youtube subscriptions as well as my instagram followers like following the people that i'm following like i've unfollowed well over maybe 150 to 200 accounts <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, I started watching more faith-based videos versus hauls or watching people do their makeup, their hair, and different stuff like that. Not saying that there's anything wrong with those type of things, but at this stage in my life, I need to see more things related to God and his kingdom. Now, I want to watch things that are gonna feed my spirit, not my vanity, basically is what I'm saying. I don't want to be influenced to be vain. I want to to grow in my Christian walk and I need to be watching people who are doing the same thing who want the same thing we have to guard you know what we're watching what we're hearing and all those things making sure that what I'm watching what I'm consuming is helping me grow spiritually has been a major major <laughs> help in deepening and growing my relationship with God so the last thing I want to share is generally growing tired of my lukewarmness really realizing that this life is not for me and my glory is for God and his glory and and realizing that no matter what I'm able to accomplish in my own strength is nothing compared to what God can do with me through me for me and I just generally got tired of being lukewarm like I would watch people and I could see their love how on fire they they were or are for God and just sitting there like I want to be like that but then realizing you can't be like that if you're lukewarm like you're gonna have to choose you can't sit on the fence choose this day whom you will serve that was the catalyst just growing tired of being stagnant and stuck in my spiritual walk and being one of those who say oh I grew up in church I know God I like do you though like you can go to church many times as the doors open but if you don't have a genuine personal relationship then what are you doing these are the things that helped me to want to deepen and grow my relationship with god and i just wanted to share just in case y'all needed a little encouragement because i know walking this walk talking this talk well talking the talk is easy but walking the walk is not easy especially in this day and age and people will look at you funny they will criticize you they will talk about you when you decide to truly live for god and god alone not this world the things in this world or the things of this world but that's okay now this list is is obviously in no way exhaustive there's so many ways to grow and deepen your relationship with God these are just some of the ones that I decided to share in this video I'll probably make another video because there are other things that I do or that can be done I just didn't want to overwhelm y'all especially if you're new to the faith yeah I hope you guys found this video helpful encouraging I really want to do more videos like this about 
my walk with God because I know we all struggle with different things. So we all need to try to be of encouragement when we can to others in the faith. And that's what I want to do. I want to share the highs, the lows, the in-betweens. Let me know some of the things you do that help you to grow or deepen your relationship with God. Leave it down below so we can talk about it. Yeah. So let's let's build this community up. Let's build each other up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you.